He was one of the very first bebop jazz trumpet players. His dazzling speed and high register had a big influence on younger bebop trumpet players such as Fats Navarro, who was Howard McGee here on Big on Bebop. He was born Howard McGee on March 6, 1918 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was then raised in Detroit, Michigan. He played the clarinet before switching to the trumpet. Worked with local bands, then Lionel Hampton in 1941. Later with Andy Kirk in the November of 1941. Charlie Barnett from 1942 to 1943. He rejoined Andy Kirk until June of 1944. Played with Georgie Ald for six months and then briefly with Count Basie. He went to California with Coleman Hawkins from 1944 to 45, stayed in Los Angeles and led his own groups from 45 to 47. He was in a club listening to the radio when he first heard Charlie Parker and became one of the earliest adopters of the new style, a fact that was disapproved by older musicians like Kid Ory. In 1946 to 1947, he recorded for the Dial Sessions organized in Hollywood with Charlie Parker. The first was held on July 29, 1946. The musicians were Charlie Parker, Howard McGee, Jimmy Bunn, Bob Kesterson, and Roy Porter. With Parker's health near to collapse, he played Max's Making Wax, Lover Man, and The Gypsy. McGee continued to work as a sideman with Parker. He played on titles such as Relaxing and Camarillo, Cheers, Carvin' the Bird, and Stupendous. Around this time, McGee was a leading musician in the Los Angeles bebop scene, participating in many concerts, recordings, and even managing a nightclub for a period. His stay in California ended because of a racial prejudice, particularly vicious towards McGee as half of a mixed race couple. Recorded and toured with jazz at the Philharmonic from 1945 to 1948. Led own group at Paris Jazz Festival in 1948 and then recorded and played on the Machito Tour. He toured the Far East with the Oscar Pettiford Band and lapsed into obscurity due to drug problems for much of the 1950s. He resurfaced in the 1960s, appearing in many of the George Wayne concerts, toured with a group featuring J.J. Johnson and Sonny Stitt, played at the Newport Jazz Festival and then with Duke Ellington from 1961 to 62 and then in 65 and 72. Led his own band at the Apollo Theater in 1973. Continued to play around New York and New Jersey through the 1970s. He also did a little teaching through the 1970s, both in classrooms and at his apartment in Midtown Manhattan, instructing musicians like Charlie Roos in musical theory. A heart ailment curtailed his playing and prowess is evident by his playing on the Coleman Hawkins tribute appearance at the Cool Jazz Festival in 1984. Howard McGee died July 17, 1987. He was 69. Howard McGee forged a personal style out of a succession of influences from Roy Eldridge to Dizzy Gillespie and Fats Navarro. He attributes his speed with playing reed instruments as a young boy. Howard McGee, a top bebop trumpet player.